Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this look for you and you're like, Caroline, what the heck is that? Well, I'm doing this black lips, iridescent, glowy look with bold eyes. So if you want to find out, keep watching and let's get into the video. So I have gone ahead and already primed my face and I haven't used anything new. It's just the Maybelline Superstay Primer and it's just this here. And next I'm going to go on with foundation and I'm using the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. And just this one here. It's one of my favourites. I'm just going to pop that on. And I think I'm going to use a brush to apply that. And I'll just go in like this. And please excuse how red my cheeks are. Like, they're so rosy because I'm absolutely roasting in here. I look like a little cabbage patch kid. Makeup will cover it. And I've said it before, but I absolutely love this foundation. It's great coverage. It's really, like, durable. And it stays on all day. And it smells really nice as well. I think that's really weird for a foundation to smell nice. It's really sunny outside and I'm so happy because spring is on the way and I would much rather be sat here a bit too hot than looking outside to gloomy crappy rain. So I'm not complaining. Okay next I'm just going to go in with the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer and put it under my little eyes. And I think I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender to blend it in. Powder, I'm just using the Maybelline Matte Maker. Which is no surprise because I use it every single day. And I really, really need to get a new one. Because I'm not even going to show you it because it's quite embarrassing that there's hardly any product left. But I just find it really hard to find a good powder that I like. So if anyone has any recommendations, please leave them below. Okay, so we are powdered up. Get that bit of hair out of the way. Okay, so next I am going to do some contour slash bronzing. For that, I'm just going to use my Revolution Iconic Lights and Contour Pro Palette, which is falling to pieces. If you can see that, it is hanging off and I'm not even bothered. I have to keep like putting it back on. I don't want to leave it without the lid because I don't want to leave this like, if I drop it on the floor something, it's just going to go everywhere. And I will drop it on the floor because it's me and I'm probably the clumsiest person ever. Every time I go to make like a fish face and stop. I think that'll do. I never really bother with like my forehead and stuff. Is that like, should I bother? I'm just gonna stick to my usual like what I do. This is this is the look we're going for, so I'll stick to it. We'll move on to eyes. So I'm gonna take the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. This one here, you all know it, you all love it, you all smell it. For just the base, I'm gonna take the usual white chocolate shade, just to give us something to work with. And it's kind of the eyes and the lips that make this look, so this is where like we need to focus our time and this is probably what will take the longest. Base is on. So next what I'm going to do is go in with the Salted Caramel shade. Just this light brown shade here. And I put those on like the outer um, lids just here. And I'll do that. And just lightly build it up like so. I feel like I need to sit a bit more forward. And I feel like the lighter the hand, the like easier it is to work with. Because I think it's better to like build up rather than have too much and be like, crap, like, how am I supposed to get rid of this? And then the next thing that we're going to go in with is the semi-sweet shade. Which is just this one here. And I'm just going to put that just a little bit underneath that. So it's like sitting on top of our lid and just working its way into the crease and it just gives it a bit of definition and I think the two colours work really well together can you see that? okay so next I'm going to take the Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay 
and I'm going to take the black heart shade which is just this one on the end and it's like a dark black shade and then I'm going to take this flattened brush and just pop that kind of like inside my lids but not on the center so like the outer the outer of my lids does that make sense I'll show you so I'm just going to pop that on like the outer corner like so and the inner corner and then on the like actual outline of the lid so just like that and then it just makes it look like a bit bolder and a bit more like smoky I'm not too good with descriptions so I'm sorry if I don't make sense and then I'm just going to take the like fluffy end of this brush and just blend that all in a little bit. We don't want it to go in the centre because that's where we're going to do put like put the gold on. But just blend it in a little bit so it's not as rough. Oh it's looking good. And this is like a really good like night out sort of eye. And then for the centre, it's not a cut crease, but I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'm going to take the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer and just a little brush, just like that. I'm going to pop some concealer on like the centre of my lid that we haven't covered. This hair is really annoying. Girl, get in there. Okay, I'm sorry about my hair. I have such a moon head. Okay, and then I'm just going to take the brush and just take a little bit of product off the, um, what do you call it, the sponge. And then just pop that onto the centre of my lid, what we haven't touched. Like this. And then work that up the lid. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And then just a little bit on the actual crease of the lid. And that will do for that. So then what I'm going to do now is go back in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and take a, another um, flat brush and then take this creme brulee shade, which is just a gold type of shade, and then pack that onto the concealer. And it just gives that, that shimmer. And it's quite like bold. And it's just something a little different and standout-ish. And we can see that. But you can still see how rosy my cheeks are <laughs> through the foundation. Just to finish off the little look, I'm going to take the Champagne Truffle, which is just this pinky sort of white shade, and pop that on my inner corner. like so and there we have it and obviously you can tidy this up and usually what I like to do is go back in with the um naked palette and get the black heart shade and just kind of like again like spread that into the gold so it's kind of like I want to say like ombre into there and I really really like this look and like I said it's good for a night out it's good for every day if you just want that little bit extra who doesn't want that little bit extra I mean come on I think what I'm gonna do is go off camera and do this eye and then jump back on once it's done okay so I have done this eye as you can see bish bash bosh they are done and next what I want to do is go in with my collection extreme 24 hour felt tip liner and do a wing and really make it like a bold eye because that's what we're going for in this look and the sun has gone and I'm really really sorry if the lighting's different it's out of my hands unfortunately and it's really really annoying. <laughs> I want the sun to come back please. Damn my cheeks are on. Okay, so that's 
two eyeliners done. Two eyeliners, two flicks. Next I'm going to go in with that mascara and for mascara I'm taking the PS Amplify Definition Volume Lift Mascara which is just from Primark. Um, we're just going to lengthen the lashes like so. There we go. Oh, and I think the eyes are looking pretty damn good so far, if I do say so myself. So next I'm going to move on to the brows. And first I'm just going to give them a little brush through to tidy them up a little bit because they are non-existent and need a lot of help. And for eyebrows, I'm taking my Maybelline Brow Satin Pen still thingy and it's just this one here I use it all the time so you know what it is okay so now brows are done we're on to the fun part and this is the part that you know makes the look and it's a little bit out there it's a little bit edgy but it's different and you know it's not gonna work for everyone but when it does work it works I think it looks really really cool so I hope you all do too so for the lips I actually don't have a black lipstick um, lip gloss whatever like I don't own one because I've never been brave enough to buy one but when I wanted to try this look I thought hmm, what can I use that would be the same so what I'm gonna use is the Maybelline master call eyeliner which is just this um, eyeliner and it's pretty thick and it's like a crayon so I'm gonna use this for lipstick and it actually works really really well like bear with me because I'm gonna surprise you yeah. okay so to like moisten my lips I've already put some Vaseline on before I started this makeup and it just makes it a lot easier to apply so I'm gonna go in and do the outline And I'm just going to fill them in. Oh my god. And it's all about like taking it slow, not rushing it. Mm. Okay, so there is like the lipstick done. And like I really like it. It's not something that I would wear to go to work in or I wouldn't advise you to go to school in it because I think you might get told off but like I don't know for like an edgy sort of like going out look um, maybe like a festival or like going out with your friends like wear it if you want to wear it you might think like oh people are gonna like stare at me because it's a bit out there but so what to finish it off give it that like holographic iridescent sort of vibe we go back in with the revolution um, iconics palette and just take this highlight shade here Get the fluffy end of the brush, swirl that on and pop it in the centre of my lips. Just like that. You don't want to do all the lips, you just want to do like the centre, just to give it that like spotlight sort of effect. There we have it. Iridescent lips. Bold, gold, smoky eye. I think the lips just look really cool. They're kind of like mermaidy as well, like I want to say. Like with the whole glowy thing going on. I love it, so I hope you guys too. If you do like recreate this like lip or eye look, please send me them. Send me on them on my Instagram. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, then subscribe below. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in my next video.
Bye.